All right, guys, it's Wednesday. As you can see, we're at the shop here. We got a little bit of a, I'm not really sure what we're gonna call this job, a, an adjustment, a fixing. We don't, we don't really know what's wrong with this thing. So, if you guys may remember this tractor from last year, I do quite a bit of business with this one owner of this tractor, and uh, he's having some problems with his um, his deck. He snapped his uh, cable, as you can see here. And last year, we uh, we actually did quite a bit of work to this deck. If you recall back, we replaced one of the mandrels, the spindles, uh, and the cable that goes up to it. So now, he thinks he hit a rock or something like that, and bent something underneath. So we're going to pull the deck off, we're going to take a look at it, see what's up with it, and uh, we'll just have to replace the cable, or the housing of it, and try and figure out what's going on here. Um, something isn't uh, working right, something's really hung up underneath there. Uh, he thinks there's something stuck, or maybe it's rusted shut. So we're going to take a further look into it and see what we can do. I think the mandrel that replaces on this side. Let's see. Yep, this side, because that's the newer one. As you can see, nice new shiny bolt in there. But we did this, um, I don't know, middle of summer last year. So well, there's a few things we're going to get done on it. We're going to do an oil change on it. Uh, let's see how that is, too. Oof, it's a good thing he's doing an oil change. <laughs> Check that out. I think the uh, full mark should be up here. It's a good thing he didn't blow him's uh, Intec. <laughs> Pretty common problem. Where's the air filter? Eh, air filter's decent. But we're going to do a couple of oddball stuff just to get it up and ready for the summer. Uh, the deck's the main thing why it's here. And, uh, you know, we'll get it figured out. Not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm actually just uploading today's video right now as we speak. Hopefully it gets put up in probably about another 10 more minutes. Um, yeah, what else we get from? So, after I made the uh, video yesterday, I ended up calling up that guy that I bought this thing off. I was just saying, you know, basically what my deal was. Uh, he took a lot of the motor parts that I need. I was supposed to assemble that engine yesterday. That was my plan after I made the video. Yeah. Didn't quite go as planned. Um, obviously I said I think I need head gasket. Yesterday, that's correct. I'm still. I get an order for part today for it. Um, he took the carburetor on me. I need the carburetor. He took the uh, wiring harness off out of the box. He took the carburetor that was in the box. Took the wiring harness out of the box. Took, took most of the parts I actually need to put this motor together. So I have to take another trip up there, um, maybe over the weekend, and grab those parts off of him because I just need those parts in order to get this thing you know, started to run at least. Um, I'm going to order some of the parts today for it. Hopefully most of the parts will be in stock because I really don't feel like waiting. I want to get this thing done like ASAP because I'm going to be in this thing a lot of money. Which is going to suck. But, yeah, that's what we got to do. we got to just get this thing done. Uh, one thing I thought I broke yesterday was uh, this. Take a look at this. Pretty cool little innovation by Toro. If you lift this guy up, there's these little notches in the frame, either way, boom, boom. And what you can do is you can actually adjust your footrest to a certain height. So if you want it closer to you, you can move it closer. If you want it farther back, you can move it farther back. So that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. So I think this thing's going to get put on the back burner for a couple of days, maybe a week or so, until we can get some parts on, until we get that motor on. Um, you know, that motor's just gonna be sitting there basically all weekend until we get the parts that I need for it. Um, especially the head gasket. The head gasket's, you know, kind of sort of a key thing. So, that's what we got going on. Unless I can pick one of those head gaskets up tonight, I might be able to do that. Um, I'm gonna take a look at something tonight. But we'll get that in that tomorrow's video possibly, but... Anyways, let's uh, start pulling the deck off this thing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this thing's a piece of cake to work on. I like working on the craftsmen. They just come apart like Lego blocks, basically. Everything's unboltable. Um, you know, a couple of pins here, a couple of pins there, a couple of bolts there. And it's disassembled. You know, you guys see me chop up a couple of these tractors within a matter of minutes, basically. So, anyway, we'll uh, get back to you once we start pulling the deck off and try and figure out what's going on with this thing. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I've gone ahead, pulled off the uh, deck here, and looking at it, and looking at it, I'm 
and something just isn't right here. And I compared it with uh, three of the decks I have out in the back air, and sure enough, I found the problem on why it's getting stuck, why it's engaged, and not coming back, and stuff like that. So actually, this right here, if you look right here, how this goes in, there's actually a little burr here. This is supposed to be straight across, not having a little dip into it. So that <clears throat> could be one of the problems. Um, I'm sure maybe there might be one more, like for instance, this. If you can see, it's actually tweaked quite a bit. It's supposed to be that away, straighter, not bent like it is. Um, so obviously, there's two problems there. And, you know, other than that, I, th I think I can't really find anything else wrong with it. Um, you know, everything else seems pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbolt. Uh, actually, I did find one more, but that's not the major. It's just that the brake shoes are starting to wear out. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to pull this pulley off. We're going to pull this bracket piece off. And we're going to weld uh, just a new chunk in there. And we should be all set. So it should work out pretty good. Alright, so I got the busted piece off. Here it is right here. A little pulley on it. I'm just going to leave it on. There's no sense on taking it off. But as you can see, quite a bit of wear in that one spot, huh? Good little burr there, too. Even on that side. So I'm going to weld her up, straighten her out, make it all back to normal, and uh, I guess we'll reassemble. Alright, so it was taking me way longer than I wanted to to work on this piece, but I finally got her done, as you can tell. I'll put her down. It's taken me whew, a good 40 minutes just on this one piece. As you can see, I got the notch taken out of here. It's pretty damn well. Uh, a lot of it I had a hand file, which took the longest. I wanted to make it as smooth as possible uh, because that's where it's going to be riding on the most. So this is the only neat side. You really don't need to make anything too spectacular. Same with the top. But, um,. Use a little bit of the cutoff wheel just to small grind it, you know, and the rest was all hand file. There's no question about it. I wanted to make it as smooth as possible, make sure there was no burrs on it, because that's the main uh, area where it's going to be riding on it. So, yeah, hopefully that fixes the problem. Uh, it's taking me way longer than what I thought, you know. So I haven't even had lunch yet. I'm starving. What time is it? 2.09. Damn. So, we're going to get this thing cleaned up next, scrape down some of the rust, and we'll be throwing this guy right on there. I'm going to paint it up first, clean it up, and then we'll paint it, and then we'll throw her on. So, that's pretty good. Holy. Alright, so I've got a lot of this stuff done now. Uh, I'm actually just getting ready to reassemble, pretty much slide the deck back under, and give her a test shot, uh, see what happens. Basically, here's the old cable, or it was new last year, but something's... I don't know if, what exactly happened. Something weird must have happened. I'm not sure. You know, the only thing I found bent was this guy right here, which I've already unbent it. But other than that, one little whoop whoop in there, you know, I don't know. But I've got her all mostly assembled. I swapped out the new, well, pre-owned cable, I guess we can call it. Um, this is the broken cable, so I'm going to cut this off. I got the new pre-owned cable right here as you can tell there's a little bit of a difference one's shinier one's not big deal um so looking pretty good and uh, it's just actually like hmm I should probably, once i'm down here i'll drain the oil and i was like oh shit i wonder if i have any oil filters and sure enough i have one oil filter left can you believe that so i gotta order me up some oil filters i gotta order up a couple of things hmm, look at that air filter too maybe we'll Talk him into buying an air filter. Seeing how I have one. So, anyway, that's where we get going on. So, it looks pretty good. Should be done here in about another 10 minutes or so. So, looking pretty good. Alright, so the Craftsman and all. Yeah. Blah. Holy, I just cannot talk these days. Uh, the Craftsman's all done. Uh, change the oil. Check out how much oil was in it. That much. <laughs> it's a little low on oil, I'd say. But, um, yeah. So, we'll get the oil changed, put a new oil filter on her. She's good to go. Spark plug. Eh, it wasn't too, too bad. It was borderline. 
but it engages a shitload better than what it ever did, as far as I know of. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a look at this right up, and then boom, releases. So I'm getting ready to go take this thing for a test drive. I would bring you guys along, but you know, my GoPro is sitting in a container over there in a million pieces because it got eaten up by the last lawnmower I stuck it on. So we're not going to do that, but anyway. We'll take her off for a quick little rip, see how she goes, mow a couple yards, make a couple bucks, and uh, we'll get this guy out of here. Maybe we'll give it a washing too, could use one. Alright, got the crossman out of here, no big deal there. Ran pretty good, ran's a lot smoother than what it did before. Uh, eventually it'll be back in, maybe late fall, early next summer, uh, for some belts. I noticed uh, right away it needed a new... Uh, mower deck belt, it needed a dry belt, you know, so they were all probably the original ones from the tractor. The tractor is made in 2007, so what do you expect? You know, so they're a good five plus years old. But I just can't believe that was the problem, that little, uh, little nick that was in the unit, the one little C. just can't believe that. So, if you have problems engaging your lawnmower, uh, chances of that being the problem, good chance. I never even knew that could possibly happen, but it happened today. So, oh yeah, we I was going to replace one of the pulleys, but this wasn't the right one. So I said eventually we'll get a pulley for him. But, that's all we get going on now. I think I'm going to uh, fire this bad boy up, take her for a quick little romp. You know, before the owner picks it up. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I think we're going to end the video here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give us something a little different to watch. Um, and, yeah. So, if you like the video, subscribe. If not, go fuck yourself. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys probably in a minute. Yeah, we'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, try and figure the final pieces, bits and pieces that we need for this thing. And uh, we'll just take it from there. So, hopefully you guys all have a good night. And we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.